שלום, אנחנו נסתור לפה סיין קל הלא ימלא, יהו, באשם, יהו שי, באשם רקע הקודש. דאבל אונס טו דה אלדס אנד הפרוסס אוף גריד מיוס אוף הטיצ'ינג אוף הטרות אנד הוא רואו וול. פיס וסייטיישנס אוף דה אקים דה ספרד אונד דה פור קורנס אוף דה ארד. ספרד אונד דה ספרד אונד 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 I want to go into the book of 1st John 1 uh, and I'm going to start at 5 and read to 10 and it's entitled the test of righteousness 1st John 1 and 5 this then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you that Yahweh Basham Yahushai is light and in him is no darkness at all come so let's go to the book of John, John 8, verse 12, and it reads, Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Gone. So these are red letters, so this is the verse of Yahweh Shai speaking. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, and the scripture also says, if you have seen Yahweh Shai, then you have seen the Father also. You see? So if you walk in the after Yahweh Shai, if you walk like Yahweh Shai walk, if you walk in his footsteps, then ye shall not walk in darkness. Why? Because he is the light of the world. Let's go to John 1. Verse 9. Let me start at 8. John 1 8. He was not that light, but what se was sent to bear witness of that light. And that he here is speaking about John. Uh, John, he was uh, set up to pave the way, you know, for Yahweh Shai. Because he, John the Baptist, he was the, the, the person that was baptizing people, but that was symbolic for what Yahweh Shai was going to do that Yahweh Shai is going to baptize them with the word, you see? So, the he here in verse 8 is John the Baptist. John 1, verse 8, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Verse 9, that was the true light, which is Yahweh Shai, which lighted every man that cometh into the world, you see? So Yahweh Shai is that light. Yahweh Shai takes you out of darkness. Let's go to the book of uh, Sirach. Sirach 17. Verse 26. And who is Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai is the, the manifestation of Yahweh, his mind here upon earth. You know, because you have Yahweh and then you have Yahweh Shai. And if you have seen Yahweh Shai, then you have seen Yahweh also. Because he is just like his father. He and his father are of one mind. This is Sirach 17, verse 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of the darkness into the light of health. And hate thou abomination vehemently. You see? So... It all starts with Yahweh. He gave, he spoke Yahweh Shai into existence, which uh, he is now that light, you know, that we follow. And we should hate abominations vehemently. You see? Because that's contrary unto the light. So going back. 1 John 1, verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Yeah. Because if you say that you have fellowship with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, and you walk in darkness and your deeds are contrary, then, then you are a liar. You see? Let's go to the book of Second Corinthians 6. And 14. 
because you can't say that you're in the truth and walk in the light and be unequally yoked with people that are in this world, people that walk in darkness. Second Corinthians 6 verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? You see? So you can't be unequally yoked with unbelievers, you know, with people that, that don't walk in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, you have fellowship with, with Yahweh Shai, so that makes you a part of this body. And you then can be unequally yoked with people that don't believe in Yahweh Shai. So going back to First John 1 verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Yahweh Shai, his son, cleanseth us from all sins. Come, because that's what the blood of Yahweh Shai does. He cleanses us from our sins because we are made, we are still in this flesh, you know, and we are constantly sinning. So we have need of, of, of that uh, sacrifice that Yahweh Shai did to blot away our sins. And this is the word uh, fellowship. The outline of biblical usage says fellowship association, community, communion, joint participation, intercourse, 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 fellowship, intimacy, a gift jointly, jointly contributed, a collection, a contribution, a exhibition, like as exhibiting an embodiment and proof of fellowship. Amen. So we are connected one to another, basically, you know, we are part of the, of the body, that's the embodiment of the church of Yahweh Shai, and we have fellowship one with another, you know, if you walk in the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, so let's read on. Oh, let me get a precept real quick. It's popped into my mind. First Peter 1. God. Because Yahweh Shai, he's not... Mm, yeah, how should I say it? When our people were going off, then we had to make... A sacrifice for our sins, you know, we had to make uh, atonement, which is uh, which the blood of, of uh, these animals that would atone for our sins. But, <coughs> so like, yeah, but the sacrifice that's now done, which is the Son of the Most High, that is a perfect sacrifice, you know, it's not any old uh, um, sacrifice, so it's very precious. You see, so you shouldn't underestimate what he has done for you, you know, what he has done for the whole nation of Israel. You see, so you should constantly ask yourself, are you doing enough? You know, because the son of the most high, the most highest, he atoned for your sins. You see, so you, that you shouldn't take that lightly, man. You see. Ask yourself, are you doing enough? Ask yourself if you're building up the, the saints. Ask yourself up if you if you are willing to, to go that extra mile, you know, for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So this is First Peter 1, verse 18. For as much as you know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Yahweh Shai, as of the Lamb, without blemish and without spot. Come, because you were bought with the precious blood of Yahweh Shai, and He is blameless, and He is blemishless. He's the perfect sacrifice to take away your sins. You see? So, 
So don't be lukewarm in the truth. Don't be cold in the truth. You see? Occupy until he comes, as, as Yahweh Shai said. You know? Keep busy. Going back to Church John 1, verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, because we, that's what I'm speaking about right now, trying to explain to you that Yahweh Shai, his blood, blots out your sin. You know, and if you want to be all proud and be like, no, I don't sin, man. I'm perfect. I'm doing the best I can. I'm, I'm perfect in the sight of Yahweh Shai. This is what the scripture says. First John 1, verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see, so, for example, if you um, went outside, you know, your father t told you not to go outside and especially not to play with uh, one of uh, a particular neighbor you know one of the children in the neighborhood but you you snuck outside he played with that neighbor your father saw you from a distance but then he acts like he didn't see you you know so he maybe goes back to sleep or does like he's asleep and when you sneak back in then he asks you like okay uh, where were you now you are going to lie, you're going to say, yeah, I was in, in, in my bed, in my room, I was doing homework. But all the while, he saw you sneak out. He saw you uh, playing with um, the child in the neighborhood that he told you not to play with. So what is that father going to do? He, he just wants you to fess up. He just wants you to tell, you, to tell the truth. And then, you know, uh, he will probably chastise you. But still, he wants you to tell the truth. But if you don't tell him the truth, then he's if he's going to chastise you even more. Because he saw you do that thing which you were not supposed to do. And in the same way, we also, as children of the Most High, as sons of the Most High, he sees us going off. You know, like the scripture says, the eyes of the, of the Most High are ten times brighter than the sun. You see, he has eyes all over which are these angels also that, that report back to him. You see? So in the same way, the man, he saw the child doing a certain thing that he wasn't supposed to. And in the same way, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, he has his eyes on, on the men that fear him. You know, he has his eyes on the on everybody. He can see everything. But he just wants you to confess that's what he wants. You see? And to cleanse us from... That's what it says. Verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive, forgive, of, forgive us our sins. That's what he wants. He just wants you to fess up so that he can willingly forgive you. He doesn't want you to go back sneaking around and stuff like that. You see? We get a precept, which is in the book of... Ecclesiastes 7, verse 20. And it reads, For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. You see? We, there's no man that is perfect that doesn't sin. Let's go to the book of Psalms. 32, verse 5, and it reads, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Most High, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Salah. Yeah, so that's what the only thing that the Most High wants. He wants you to be open. He wants you to confess. He wants you to... Um, be remorseful for what you did. You see? So going back. 
1 John 1 and 10. And it reads, If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. God, and that's not what you want. Because what is the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? The word is his son, Yahushai, that he spake into existence, according to John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You see? So, if you don't confess your sins, if you don't say that you're a sinner, then Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Yahushai is not in you. You see? Then you are a liar, and then you make him a liar. You see? So it's very important to know that the, this thing of ours, you have to be transparent, especially to the Most High, because He knows and sees everything. So you might as well confess, confess your sins, and 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 be meek, remorseful, broken down, because that's what He wants. He wants you. He doesn't. He doesn't like like a a pride look, as the Scripture says. So he rather that you confess your sins and be broken and meek instead of being proud and uh, puffing up your chest. Be like, I don't sin. I'm perfect. I do my best and I'm perfect in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. No, man, none of us are perfect. All of us sin. You see? God, so with that, I hope this video is edifying. And I want to say, Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rekha Kodash. Shalom, Akim.